Okay, I think this is working now. I, I realized I may have actually put the thing on the wrong... Yes, there we go. I put the thing on the wrong stream key. Now it is working. Yes, yeah, see, I thought that I put it on the right stream key. I was wrong. Uh, I was like, oh wait, I just have to do the thing and then switch the stream key around. Now it's working. There we go. Welcome in, everyone. Wow, hello there, Jaded. Surprising news, is holding an egg. So I, I was kind of mildly talking about how I completely forgot where my freaking stylus is. Hello, Brent. Uh, which one is, yes, stout one. I, I completely forgot where I put my stylus, so now I just have to use a pencil for the entire thing. Or I can use the, well, I mean, I can use the one inside the DS, but it just feels weird. Legally, I can't have feeling per rules of chat, yeah, but I'm not supposed to go rest, Jade. Um, you can send it in DM if need be. Uh, but go and rest. Go rest, Jade. But yeah, how is everyone doing tonight? We give everyone give Jade a hug. Hug. Feeling per rules of chat. Um, send it in, in, in DMs, Jade, if need, if need be. Because I think I maybe know... Uh, I, like, I don't know what's going on, but I know you said you sir, were not feeling well about something before. But let's just do a little bit of shiny hunting. See if things... Stop and things. Yeah, I, I, I debated whether or not to do another shiny hunt later today. Uh, I decided, yes, we were going to do a shiny hunt for this. Mostly because I kind of want... I'm already sending the positive jibes your way. You can't... You can't stop the positivity, Jade. You can't stop the positivity. Uh, I see, Jade. I see entirely. Yeah, I mean, that's a valid thing to be annoyed with. So this is a, this is why I stick to rocks. This is why I stick with geology. Because remember, rocks don't mind if you hit them with a hammer or dissolve them in sulfuric acid. Better, I am. Yeah, it's good. Better send the positive vibes. Just remember, Jade. I may despise humanity being an AI-generated thing, but there are brief moments where I don't entirely have disdain for humanity. But some sometimes. Only sometimes. Oh my gosh. I I forgot how just running the replay buffer with this game just shreds the audio. Dang, I dropped the stylus. God, it's just it, it's so bad. The audio just uh, Maybe it's not maybe you guys can't hear it. Wait, Jared, what what song did you send? That's not Legends EA. Got act. Jade, what did what song did he send you? I'm very curious now. I'm 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 Hello that Dodo Dial. No many or forms when I mean technically there is what? 16 different forms of mini or red for like uh, each of the different forms have their own external meteor shell and then the Yoshani form Right Look at how happy mini or is look at little floaty boy Look at how happy it is just bobbing around Look at the joy Oh, it's you Rosie. Hello, Rosie. 
Look at the absolute joy that is that shiny minior on the lower part of the screen. Ah, yes, the epic saxophone solo. Yes, the, the epic sax is absolutely great. The rest of the song is honestly kind of mid, except for the violin right at the start of it, like the epic sax solo. That is just chef's kiss. It's top tier. Don't question it, Jade. Embrace the good vibes. Embrace the sex. Also, yes. Wait, did, did, did you steal? Did you steal the Ogre Pond gif I sent you? You stole the Ogre Pond gif I sent you! You stole that gif! I'm so proud of you! Just for that, you get Ada and Leon. Ju just for that, you get this one. Oh, you did? I said, was, oh, I'm sorry, Jade. I'm stupid, remember. Hey, nice. Shiny Terrakion, very nice. I have not seen the Squirtle version. I've just seen the one Jared sent me. Which Ogre Pond? Is it the one that I've been waking up at the festival? No, not that one. No, no, Rosie, I am stupid. It's such a good gift, Jade! It's such a good gift! You can't deny! Why does it make you mad? It's so adorable! It is an adorable gift! Which is weird because it's Ogre, which is weird because it's a Resident Evil. Okay, then fine, I have another one that, that you'll probably like better. Okay, did, what about this one? Is this one better, Jade? I, I assume this one is better. And if you say it's not, I, we're gonna have a problem. Jade! We are going to have significant issues. That, 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 how, that, that is, that is a no. I have, I have several questions. I, I have a list of them, Jade. I hate how the words, you can't deny just remind me of that cursed clip someone said the lyrics of Baby got back to and I'm, I'm, I, I, I disagree, Jade. Um, no, I, I prefer the, 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 the six foot tall woman with silver hair and high heels and dragon horns, who is a giant robot dragon monster. No, no, no. Hello. We take the egg. Though Dandy Vito does have a cool dog on that shirt. All right. <laughs> uh, it's not. It's an appreciation. For the quality German engineering. And they have a different gif. They have a different one. That is also equally apt. I mean, to be fair, Jade, that is all of us at the moment. That is literally every single one of us. All 
I'd recommend closing your eyes. Gen I mean, granted, not, not every headache can be solved by closing your eyes. Because, you know, that's not everyone is caused by eye strain. Adorable saliva, but great. Very adorable. Very, 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 very adorable. Have a clod, sire. Have a clod, sire. Clod Sire is friend. Clod Sire is absolute joy. He just wants hugs. Clod Sire is the applaud the Claude. Clod Sire is a gift to mankind. That that Claude Sire is a gift to humanity. Oh, epic saxophone squirtle. That sounds awesome. Upload the Claude. Okay, that, that that song actually goes like really hard. I love it. Oh shoot, that one Japanese reseller website should have those giant Cloud Sires in stock soon. Thanks for the reminder. I didn't intend to remind, but okay. Um. Okay, I, I, I mean, I have several questions, but fair enough. <sighs> Hello there, Oma. How do you do today? In Campbell Road, I have dinner. <laughs> um, I, I, have, I have several questions, Jade. I already had dinner. It was fish. Fish and steak fries. Like, I mean, I, I've said it before and I will say it again. Rice may be the universal, like, side dish. Jade, it's Lent. It's Lent, Jade. We're not allowed to have red meat or, well, any land-based meat. It's Lent on, on Fridays. So, it is fish. Fish is permitted. No, it... It's... Alright, you don't know what Lent is. Ba basically, um, everything from Ash Wednesday to Good Friday, it's, it's, a, it's a thing. You know, it's... it's yeah, my... My, my family is, is Christian, and we've always done that. You know, my grandmother, my mother, father, we've always done that. It, it's kind of actually the reason why, like, generally we have, like, fish on Friday. Just e even outside of that. I'm confused by his own words. Well, no, it, it's a thing of, like, putting the words in a singular, cohesive sentence quickly is... Not the easiest thing to do, because again, words are hard. I struggle with words. But no, it's it's Lent. Honestly, totally forgot about it. Happy Easter Good Friday. Yes. See, I... It's several weeks, Jade. It's like six weeks. And again, it's only on Friday. Two-week pescatarian. I mean, I love seafood. Like, we've been over this numerous times in streams. If Pokemon were real, I would probably never have a Gyarados. Because I just love fish fry too much. Jade, remember, I'm not alive. I am an AI projection. The Allosaurus is the real brains. Lent ends to... Lent ends on Easter! I'm 
Pretty sure it ends on Easter. Well, I mean, it's Good Friday, which, like, is a separate thing altogether, so. Functionally, it continues. Functionally, it continues. Pokemon is holding an egg. 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 I hate sea salt. See, sea salt on its own is not good. I still hate fish. Why do you hate fish, Jade? What did the fish ever do to you? What what if what crime have the fish done to the jade to make you despise them so much? Why do you have a fear of fish? Why do you fear that which swims? Why do you fear the meat without feet? Ichthyophobia. Okay, so you admit it is an, in an inherently irrational fear. Fair enough. Now, if it was thalassophobia, I'd understand that. But ichthyophobia? But fish are delicious. You simply consume that which is your object of your fear. It diminishes the fear. Hello, Lex G. Again, guys, if you haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe for more. Hang on, Jade. I can help with that. Oh, I'm scared. How do you have fish? It, it's so good. It's so good. Like, again, the, the, the running joke I have with my family is that someday I will die of mercury poisoning because I just like tuna fish too much. And now for those who don't know, tuna fish is, is high in mercury. Like, keep that damn fish away from me. Uh, Jared, I don't think you're helping Jade. I think it's only making it worse. You may have exaggerated the situation, but it's a skill issue. Horizontally rotating fish! Horizontally rotating fish! Other fish I get, but tuna. I love tuna! Like, I, I love most types of fish. Like, I like tuna. Like, I like tuna. I I like swordfish. I like halibut, cod, salmon. Really like salmon. I... I mean, I like shellfish, too. You know, crab, lobster. Especially surf and turf is great. Fish cannot approach Jade. It can only spin. It cannot hurt you. Oh, you're approaching me, are you? Just Dio, Dio reference. Yes, we make JoJo references here. The Joj. Yeah, I've never had calamari though. I I don't think I ever planned to. Um, I don't think I've ever played Infinite Fusion. I mean, yeah. You know, if if we get to seven k by the end of the year, we do we if, if we get to seven k subs by the end of this year, we play Infinite Fusion Nuzlocke. You know that that's gonna be this year's goal. We didn't get to the Radical Red goal, but uh, the Radical Red goal is if we got three k before the end of uh, last year, we would do a. Nuzlocke of Rad Red. However, we did not reach the 3k goal. We were off by, I think, like... 70. New message. Oh, no, I'm scared, Jade. Okay. Jade, I, I don't think I want to know where that is. My sister's having making things worse. I mean, isn't that what siblings tend to do, Jade? Can't can't you 
punt your sister? I mean, I hope we do reach the goal. I hope we do. Jade, one of those is not new comment. I mean, why am I not why am I not surprised it's Ohio? Why am I not surprised it is Ohio of all places? Ohio, the one place Godzilla probably even Godzilla won't go. The, the only natural predator of the Ohio is Godzilla. Because Godzilla is like the predator of literally everything. Well, not everything, technically. Technically. Only Mudcap. Let alone hug. Okay, what about head paths? What what about head paths? Head paths are always a win. And the moon moon is different. <laughs> head paths are different. What about the qualification of head paths? Head pats are a sign of friendship. Go wait, wait, is that the Gorilla Glue place? Okay, Jade, I pu I put in that logo. I mean that not the logo. I put in that address. Is that the Gorilla Glue place? What is Salazzle wearing in this profile? Where is it? Is like a a, a shirt? I thought it was a shiny as a lazzle, but I'm also freaking blind. Ah, <laughs> oh, the gorilla glue factor, that's funny. That that's where all the horses go when they're finished with their their stunt their stint in uh the horse races. Ooh, that's a dark joke. Ooh, that's dark. You know, you know they, they should get King Kong to sponsor the Gorilla Glue ads. Horse? You know, I, I find it hilarious that I actually have a new headset and I just stubbornly refuse to use it. Well, they... Look at that. Let me go get the... Let me go get the other one. Yeah, I, I got a new headset at Christmas, and I just haven't used it. Compatible with Nintendo Switch, it's funny. Yeah, like, I, I, I mean, I, I don't know, like, if, I don't know. Like, it's a good, it's a good headset, I think. But it's like, I've just, I, I don't open it, I've never, I haven't opened it yet, and it's like, again, like, three months old. Actually, wait, actually, wait. No, January... Never, yeah, no, three months old. And I, just, I haven't used it yet at all. When the topic of Hans. Hans. Koichi Hansei. But it makes sense. Oh, no, so here's the thing. This thing does have issues. So, okay, so let, let, me, let me just do something. I mean, it's going to blast the, the music right here. You can't really see, but the plug of that headset jack is bent. What happened was, I slammed that plug uh, in the door of my dad's car. 
and it bent the uh, the aux jack, so it doesn't go into the uh, the aux output correctly, and it distorts the audio. Like I have to twist it a lot of the time to get it to line up perfectly. So. It, it, it's like the, the aux jack just doesn't work right. And, uh, yeah, no, so, like, it, th this thing is, like, six years old. The padding is starting to come off the ear things. Like, it, 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 it works, but it works in the vaguest sense of it works. The funny thing is, I don't even use, like, I've got, I've got a set of speakers on my PC now. Um, I've got a, an actual, like, big boy microphone. This is entirely unnecessary, this headset. But yet, I still keep using it. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just too lazy to go break open the, uh, the box of the other one. I don't know, maybe. We fluff around to find out is what we do around here. We specialize in fluff around and find out. Let's go. Surprise. Egg. It is dangerous to go alone. I give you this egg. Egg. Hello that toasty toast. And David Das. I am indeed a smooth brain. A chronic smooth brain. The smoothest there is. Your words simply slide right off. Those headphones are better condition than the actual whatever you think. I mean, they work. I mean, the headset works still. It still works. Um, I make no guarantees for how long we go for live tonight. Uh, again, m mini or shiny hunting is slow. But... Tomorrow we will be doing our Lugia shiny hunt, full odds Lugia hunting, which is, is, I mean, it's fun. Wait, hey, we're getting raided! Welcome in, Pirate Hunter, Choco Rain, she, uh, Sher she Wolf, Mushroom of the North, Carlos Corias, uh, Daryl Azalea, how you doing? Ephraim Nelson, Cynical Sign, how you guys doing? Dragon Family Raid, hello, our dear friend Athena Bella, how are you doing? Kiara, welcome in. Temp, uh, Neo Data, welcome in. Man time, ah, uh, yes, I was Athena. Athena raids are always massive. Dragon Family Raid, Athena, Jessica. Yo! Did she get it? She finally got the Latios! Let's go! That thing was super over odds for her. Nice! Lord Medieval Pizza, that is a top tier name. Uh, can one of the mods please go grab Athena's link, please? Welcome eight. Well, welcome eight. Sorry, my brain is paced right now. Um, granted, my brain is paced after. May I go grab it for a second? My brain is still fried from having seen this movie yesterday. So, um. I'm a massive fan of Godzilla. Oh, thank you very much for ever subscribed. Um, I went to see Godzilla Kong the New Empire yesterday. Uh, commemorative popcorn bucket. Oh, love it. And, uh, that movie was great. It was absolutely metal. I'm so happy because it was one guess again. Wow, that's amazing. Lemon, how you doing, Mike? Should have been named McMochi Vader. <laughs> Hello, little Tom. Got the dad book about mom. We got Latios by BFP. What let me? Yeah, Latios. We still haven't gotten our Latios yet, but nice to see Athena. Market protect. Market protect. But yeah, like I mean, that movie was amazing. I love how seventeen, uh, seventy-one. 165. Oh my gosh, that's so many. Charlie the Unrivaled, welcome in. I mean, hey. Just means it's more memorable, Athena. Just means it is more memorable. But yeah, so th this, this has been an absolutely amazing last several days. 
So we're gonna sign a spathra. Ooh, fun. But, you know, this, this, the last couple days have been absolutely fantastic. Um, as, as a Godzilla fan, Godzilla Kong: The New Empire was great. Like, um, a few days ago, I released a video basically like about like the personal story of like my history with the Godzilla movies, which I mean, as you could tell from the Godzilla figure in the background, I love these things. And I saw Godzilla Kong yesterday, which this is great. Uh, Godzilla's apparently a fan of Italy, which is great because I'm Italian, and, and like, okay, BFB, need to stretch very much. So this this is kind of like one of the reasons I love monster movies, is there's times where I've actually been to some of the places where those monster movies are set in, and it's like, I've seen that building before, and it kind of hits different when like you have seen a building in real life, and you see, you know, giant nuclear dinosaur towering over, it's like, yeah, that's to give you that scale, I love it. Uh, but we are presently doing our shiny hunt for Minior. Stretch the TNA medieval torture device. Um, I don't believe the rack is a you is a helpful thing for stretching. Uh <laughs> The rack is not a, a good stretch therapy machine. That is the opposite of stretch therapy. I find it to be quite relaxing. Um. Yes, Firemar, we are doing mini or hunting. So well, I've basically decided we're gonna do these these short mini or shiny hunts. Wow, then the building of the last white L literally, literally Ephraim. That is literally my my policies. Like, that's actually really cool. Like, th there's a part where Godzilla takes a nap inside of the, the the Roman Colosseum. And it's like, I've been there. That place is freak off massive. And Godzilla just goes for a power nap and it's like, oh my god, I love this. Uh, this shiny hunt is happening in Ultra Moon physical hardware with Solgaleo Lunala 3DS. Um, it depends on which incarnation. Certain, uh, there have been Godzilla that has been female. There have been male Godzillas. Because you gotta remember, Godzilla is not an individual. Godzilla is a species. There are several Godzillas. Even within the original Japanese continuity. Like, e e even within the, the second Godzilla se the Godzilla era, which, allow me to nerd for a while, the, the, the two, there are the three, well, there's four principal Godzilla eras, uh, Showa, Heisei, Millennium, and presently Riwa, where in the Heisei era, there was specifically Godzilla, you know, Godzilla proper, and... Godzilla, well, originally Baby Godzilla, but then was known as Godzilla Jr. Or Godzilla Jr. Yeah, Godzilla Jr. So, historically, I believe Heisei Godzilla was female. And then Jr. was referred to with male pronouns. But, again, it, it depends on the individual incarnation. You want to think any guy the live stream like <laughs> But yeah, no, it is the individual incarnations actually do diverge. Uh the American Cause Chinese Spathor. Nice. Okay, oh so uh Firemar, you're talking about the American Godzilla from ninety-eight. That one was female. Yes. Well, Technically, the eggs were made by Parthenogenesis, which is basically self-cloning. But then the sequel, Godzilla the series, which yes, there was an anime movie that confirmed that it was male, that the, the child was male, so implied to be there was another one. Sexually insomnia did all the research, trying to watch the movies. Yeah, again, it 
again, the, the, these are these are monster movies where you're watching an atomic dinosaur suplex three-headed space dragon through skyscrapers. You're not coming for the science. The, the, the story and the plot is, is, a, is a nice accessory, but the real attraction is the monster fights. God, I love those movies. It's like... Like, legitimately, some of the Godzilla movies do actually have a good story. No, a, Jade, asexual reproduction literally is parthenogenesis. That's the, that's the term for it. Jade. That, that's the term. <laughs> Again, radioactive di nuclear dinosaurs. Even, well, okay. Well, technically, technically, Godzilla was a dinosaur in one incarnation, so I can't actually call him a nuclear dinosaur. Looking like I was wrong. Because... The delay. The delay on stream. I will blame the stream delay. Um, actually... Actually... Um, actually, even though I said the same thing, yeah, correct. I, I just use the more scientific, big brainy terms. I just use the brainy terms. Okay, nothing is in my hatch yet. You know, I, I love those movies. Those movies are stupid, but they're great. Like, some of them do actually have a very well done story. So, th those movies actually go go pretty hard. Also, the music. Like, when it comes... Hello, Amy Norman. I do remember you were here earlier today. Like, one other little detail that I love is the same guy did the music for, like, Godzilla's theme for 45, for 41 years straight. Uh, would you think Godzilla Minus One is required? Would you? I would highly recommend watching Godzilla Minus One. I really like that movie. It's a very good movie. Like, Godzilla Minus One is, I would say, probably one of the best examples of how a monster movie can have a good story. And then, you know, I immediately point to Godzilla Final Wars as a as a, in a prime example of why they don't need a good story to work. But, you know, Godzilla Minus One is in no way connected to the MonsterVerse chronology. Favorite Pokemon, that is Metagross. Imagine if a shiny hatch were talking about this. I mean, that would be great. It'd be absolutely amazing. Great. Uh, but yeah, no. My, Godzilla Minus One is not connected to the MonsterVerse at all. However, uh, and this is... Yes, there have, Alex. There have. Um, But here, this is a wholesome movie moment. That I love, like, th this is one of the things about, like, these monster movies that is why I say more movies need to be made like them, is when they were making Godzilla Kong The New Empire, they saw the commercial in the trailers for Minus One, and there was a moment in the movie Minus One they liked so much that they recreated like they had a reference to that scene in Godzilla Kong the New Empire no Godzilla is not in the public domain Godzilla is not public domain and they had a re they they include a reference to that scene in Godzilla like I love this like these these are people who love what they do and we'll do something even as small as that. Good night, Nick is nice. Very nice. Godzilla vs. Mickey Mouse. We all know, I mean, there's canonically was Godzilla vs. Bambi. 
Like, there was Godzilla versus Bambi, and Godzilla just stepped on Bambi, and Bambi was gone. Yeah, no, Godzilla is not in public domain yet. Every Godzilla movie, this isn't. Correct, Jade. Like, the, the bad Godzilla movies are generally just the Showa movies, as in, like, the bad Godzilla movies are exclusively Showa movies, but not all Showa Godzilla movies are bad. Like, Ibra Horror of the Deep, kind of a mid-movie. Godzilla Raids Again, mid-movie. Uh, Destroy All Monsters, Son of Godzilla, mid. But then, you know, you've also got, you know, Ghidorah the Three-Headed Monster, Terror of Mecha Godzilla. You know, those are all... Oh, Godzilla wins. Like, other than, like, the legendaries, like, literally, Arceus, Dialga, Palkia, Giratina, Godzilla wins. Like, when, when you bring in reality warping, then Godzilla loses. If it's... Actually, yes, Firemar. Speaking of Godzilla on Game Boy. I, I literally got it right here. I literally have it on my desk at all times. Think about the wrong ash. I mean, Godzilla and Kong have canonically fought the Justice League. So, there, there's that. <laughs> hey guys, I up with the mind. I watched Godzilla King of the Monsters. The dad was sick. The fight seems great. It just... Yeah. Like, Dr. Sarazawa is a perfect example of how you can have a good character in a Godzilla movie. Like, the, it, it is a legitimately saddening scene, but also a very heartwarming scene. Like, again, that is peak monster movie writing right there. The GBA one I'm talking about, the Godzilla. Ah, oh, it's on the original Game Boy. Oh. There was a Godzilla game on the original Game Boy? I don't know that. But yeah, no, so, so here's like a, a fun little fact about uh, Ken Watanabe, which is uh, the actor who plays that character. The character is Dr. Sarazawa. In the first movie, uh, Godzilla of the 2014 one, originally the script said he was supposed to name drop Godzilla initially, you know, with the Americanized Godzilla. However, Ken Watanabe based Chad of a person because both his character and himself is Japanese, he insisted he use the original name, Gojira. And it's like, yes! And you know what? That's in the movie. Based. Love it. If you haven't heard about the original scene, I don't think. A bit upset that none of the ones came from the end of the part. I'm That none of the ones who came from the um, honestly, that, that makes sense, Mushroom, when it comes to a lot of raids, is a lot of the raiders, they just lurk. Like, I can see the, the analytics right now. You know, uh, we peaked with, like, what, 22 viewers from the raid? And there's, you know, 17 people from the raid. Like, a lot of the people who came with the raid are still here. Yeah. A lot, a lot of the people from the raid are here, they mostly just lurk. Got... Good luck with the mini arm. I don't know what it's about. Not an easy spot on there. Yeah, I... The thing is, I could go for mini arm in Scarlet Violet. The only reason I'm not is I, I'm a, I'm a sucker for vanity projects. And I want to get the Alola Champion ribbon on my mini arm shiny. For the same reason I wanted to get my Mimikyu in this game. It's purely down to I want the, the, I want the ribbons. I'm a sucker for ribbons. My English teacher is always saying a Mice and Men is probably the best book we will ever read and may introduce you to the Twelve Labors of Heracles. Yes, agree. Agree, Mudkip. Very agree. Or, or, or the Odyssey. Like, literally anything by Homer. 
Absolute baller. But yeah, no, it's like, it's those movies go super hard. I love them. I love, love those movies. He's like, yeah, my English teacher was like that with, uh, like, Catch, uh, Catch on the Rye. In the comment earlier about saying thanks for the suggestion that Godzilla movies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you guys enjoyed the movie. Because I love those movies. Like, 10 p.m. for me. Yeah, it's, uh, about 10, 17 years. One of my favorite books I read since high school was Fahrenheit 451. Dang good read. Yeah, I don't read. Um, I... The thing, I, I'm, not, I'm not illiterate uh, as much as it may meme on in the chat at times that I can't read. Um, I have a I have a focusing issue. I I have ADD. I struggle to read, and I generally don't read. But I want to read the uh, the Odyssey at some point, and the and the Iliad. Because I, I do really like Greco-Roman mythology. Uh, the interview is just that my glory is there for her. All his the Chinese trade unions for one box of Chinese Pokemon. Won't accept it. I mean, I don't accept Chinese or uh, trades from viewers. It's a policy. Meta knows how to read it enough to chat. <laughs> exactly, Mudkip. I know the bare minimum. I I know how to do the bare minimum of reading requirements. That's why I just play Pokemon competitively. You don't need to read in Pokemon competitive, it's just numbers. There's a difference between literacy and numerics. There's actually some good books out there, but yeah, it's like... I mean, for me, it's a focusing problem. That I just have a very, very hard time knuckling down and reading... Which is, is kind of hilarious, because I actually am, like, writing my own monster stories. But the Godzilla stomp of the dragon was cool, but I wish the music would have come out. It would have just been about the dragon. Oh, you yeah, know, I love that. So, the dragon's name is is uh, King Ghidorah. And, like, the score for that movie is great. I, I recommend listening to, like, just the, the soundtrack of Godzilla King of the Monsters. Fun fact... The guy that did the music for Godzilla King of the Monsters is the same guy that did the music in the God of War remake. Bear McCreary. Who also did a new version of Blue Oyster Cult's Godzilla, which actually appears in the movie as a credit song. And I'm just like... This, this, the, the, I'm smiling so much, my face hurts. Like, the, the, there are a few things that just, like, I'm, I'm not a very, it, 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 if you guys, like, you know, talk, like, would, like, are in voice chat with me off screen, I'm a, I'm a very subdued, very, non-expressive person. I don't know why, just when I'm not in front of the camera. I'm a lot more subdued and a lot more reserved. And there are very few things that get me to, like, burst out in cheers. And that scene, I think that's the Godzilla that did that. Have you ever understood the Godzilla DBA game? Um, I believe I have 100%ed Godzilla Domination. Have you ever seen those when the Japanese guy walked to the Godzilla plus hand? Yeah. It... That is a scene that if you actually know the original movie kind of has a bit more impact because the character's name there, um, his name is Dr. Sarazawa. He is like the scientist that you know, studies and has like a, a personal fondness for Godzilla. In the original Godzilla movie, Dr. Sarazawa, the character he was named after, is actually the person that killed the original Godzilla. 
So it's kind of like a great inversion of the original. Oh, Athena! Member for nine months! Thank you, Athena! No, he's not related to the first one. It's just his name is a reference to the first one. No, it's it's a reference to the pre the first movie. Because... Okay, so th 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 this, this requires an in-depth exploration and narrative stuff. So... See, it's funny you mention how do you kill Godzilla, because I'm going to explain that. So, the original Godzilla was not a monster movie. I've actually read those books, Mushroom. Um, In the original Godzilla, as in, you know, Gojira, that movie was originally created as an allegory for nuclear weapons. And, like... A, a, a direct opposition to the use and development of nuclear weapons and super weapons as a whole. And the idea behind the Oxygen Destroyer was that this is another super weapon because to defeat a super weapon, which Godzilla is an embodiment of the nuclear bomb, like one of the ways I believe it was described was it is a nuclear explosion in slow motion. And that the only way to destroy or counter a super weapon is with another super weapon. So the plot device of the movie is the Oxygen Destroyer, which is what in the end kills Godzilla. But at the end of the movie, because Dr. Serizawa is the one that deploys it himself, he scuba dives down, cuts the air tube on his scuba suit, so the science behind the Oxygen Destroyer dies with him, so no one can recreate it. So, you know, basically, there will be, like, so, so super weapons stop being a thing. And they actually have that reference in the movie with the Oxygen Destroyer being used to try to kill Godzilla, which it doesn't work. But uh, at the end of it, you know, when Sarazawa activates the new weapon, it's you, you power Godzilla up against, like, you know, inverting the original thing. But in a more positive way, you know, the like nuclear power could be harnessed for good, and not just to destroy. Go to good movie, though, exactly. Yeah, like, that's the thing about the Godzilla movies. Is that, from the outset, they look like dumb monster fight movies. But there is a lot of, like, very deep meaning to all of the movies, and to actually all of the monsters. You know, each of the monsters are actually representative of different things throughout history. Except for Ghidorah. <laughs> like, that's the funny thing. Like, uh, Mothra's an allegory, I believe, like, specifically for nature. Uh, like, there's, like, the destructive power of the natural world and that humanity is always at nature's mercy. Uh, Radon, or Rodan, is basically an allegory for unchecked Soviet nuclear proliferation. And then there's just Ghidorah, which the creators have said there is no meaning behind Ghidorah. It is not made to represent anything. It's just big monster for sake of big monster, and I freaking love that. Oh yeah, no, 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 see. Uh, Destroyer is, is trademarked. Destroyer is actually trademarked. Because there's a Godzilla monster called... Destroyer. Uh, Ghidorah is the three-headed space dragon. See? Destroyer. Action Destroyer. <laughs> Action Destroyer in their premium single. Godzilla. <laughs> ah, God, I love those movies. Yes, that's Mothra. That is, that is Mothra. <laughs> Technically, Mothra is from her own franchise before getting absorbed into the Godzilla franchise, as is, as same with Radon. Oh, I, I have the books in my basement. I still have the books. Also, it's with the Caps Mushroom. Yeah, I, I read them. Like, the last book I read was where all the ghosts from the evil shadow forest tried to come back and kill all the living characters and, like, take over the world or something like that. Like, I, I vaguely 
remember that? Ah, uh, there's attack on... Uh, Vulture guy was sick with how he launched. Jaren got them. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, technically, Radon's not a Vulture. He is a, well, basically a Pterosaur. But yes. Yeah, I, I literally actually updated Mothra's design. Because originally Mothra was just like a giant overly fluffy moth. And now it's like, no, it actually kind of looks terrifying. Like, it actually looks like a, a praying mantis monster thingy. It's awesome. Also, one little detail I love about Mothra's redesign in uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters. If you actually look at Mothra's wings, um, the, the eye spots is what they're called on it. Because, like, a lot of moths and butterflies have evolved to have, like, spots on their wings that look like owl eyes. The eye spots on Mothra's wings are Godzilla's eyes. Which, I love that. Because, like, one, it is you take a real-world thing from, like, actual creatures, and you extrapolate that out to the size of a, of a monster. It's like, you yeah, know, that actually works. You know, just like how, you know, King Kong knows sign language. You know, apes are able to learn sign language and communicate with humans. How many Godzilla movies are there? I believe there's over 40 of them. There's a lot of them. Well, the, the reason they did that is to imply very subtly that there is a connection between Godzilla and Mothra. Because, you know, Mo Mothra is the... Mothra's the only one of the kaiju in Godzilla King of the Monsters that both remains loyal to Godzilla and does not follow Ghidorah. I mean, well, King Kong doesn't follow Ghidorah, but that's because King Kong doesn't listen to anyone. Because King Kong doesn't, you know... I mean, Godzilla's a franchise that's been ongoing for 40... for, for, for 70 years. No, it's Metamorphosis, Mudkip. Unless you're referring to specifically Mothra Leo, in which case that's the Rebirth of Mothra trilogy. And that is an entire can of Wurmple I do not want to go into, because even I haven't seen all of those movies. Like, they're, 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 I, I, we're not getting into that can of worms. But no, yeah, Mothra is, it's, can of worms. Although Mothra is functionally immortal. Do it, Mudkip. Do it, you coward. Yep, we're playing Ultra Moon. Meta, you should do a stream with that and watch all the good Uh, yes, you think, if I did that, uh, that stream would get immediately copyright stricken. I would immediately get, like, the biggest copyright. Nice. We are all playing on physical hardware. Like, I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd love to do that, but um, probably not. Probably can't. But my plan is, eventually, to do a review series. That is a shiny minior, Michael Martin. That is what we are specifically looking for. But yeah, I'm actually gonna probably do a review, a movie review series on all the Godzilla movies and you know several other kaiju films. Which means on 40, I'm gonna need to watch the Netflix Godzilla movie. Okay, fine. What do I start with for Godzilla? Mudkip, there's a meme for that. Mudkip, I'm gonna need to send you a meme. Like, it, it, it's a meme, but also it's accurate entirely. Why the fuck did you send me an obesity? <laughs> Alright, Mudkip, there's the meme.
Yeah, no, that there there is that that is a thing. Maybe Godzilla is at the public. Ah, uh, yeah, no, Godzilla's never gonna get into public domain. Yeah, I I honestly don't even remember which book Fire and Ice is. Like, I was I there was like five volumes of like six books. I, there was like twenty five books by the time I finished, and I read all of them. Like, I literally demolished that series. Oh, nice. It's the sergeant needs you to spot the difference between this picture and the pictures all the Godzilla movies lined up. Second book was, ah. Ah, that one. Ah, the emotional whiplash. Well, nothing in the first book had that, too. Like... It scares me the fact that you just mentioned, oh, second book, and I immediately remembered, like, basically everything that happens. I love Shiny Metagross. Like, I remember the broad strokes of things that were happening in those stories. I mean, a lot of the Godzilla movies are different, aside from, like, you know, the Showa era films where they reuse so much stock footage. Trust me, I don't do spoilers. I won't do spoilers. Uh, game, Ultra Moon. Uh, I'm gonna get some water, be back in a sec, as it's important to hydrate. Ah, uh, I mean, the thing is, if every fictional character was in public domain, fiction would never continue. Here we go. No spoiler, the reviewed character. My hair goes with metal claws and head like a camera arm. We need a comeback command is important to hydrate. Why does your EV have eyes? What do you mean? Oh, the laser eyes in the EV. I love the laser eyes. I want that goofier. Yes. Yeah, Mudkip, you have no idea how stupid some of those movies got. You you have no idea how stupid some of those Godzilla movies get. Like I I I, I just love the just like like all the different arrows that go on the diagram. PFU and I got the real I guess. It's it's a good PFP. I love the laser eyes. I actually have a PNG of laser eyes saved on my PC for various purposes. Just when I need it. My guys lovers Mega Godzilla and Godzilla against Mega Godzilla are different movies. I'm so confused where to go. So, okay. There's technically three Godzilla versus Mecha Godzillas. Okay, so 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 basically, 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 Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla is the original Mecha Godzilla from the original timeline. So Mecha Godzilla in that story was a robot made by aliens to. I impersonate Godzilla and, like, trash his reputation, I guess? Doesn't make any sense, but, I mean, that's the thing. Uh... Then the second Mecha Godzilla, Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla 2, was a robot made by humans to fight Godzilla, which was basically just a Godzilla-shaped laser cannon. And then there's Godzilla against Mecha Godzilla, which is... 
they took the skeleton of the original Godzilla, built a robot around the skeleton, and then made that skeleton fight Godzilla. Again, these movies are stupid, but it's why I love them. And dying outside because I got Celebi from my trade and was holding a dang thing, make a stone. Also, as Godzilla was my Godzilla 2 terror, my Godzilla. Okay. Yeah, Godzilla my Godzilla 2 is that, the one I explained there. And then there's Godzilla against Mecha Godzilla, which is, is that one. Terror of Mecha Godzilla is a sequel to Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla, the original one. Uh, but important thing to remember is Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla, original, and God's and Terror of Mecha Godzilla are in the original timeline, the Showa era. Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla 2 is in the Heisei era, which is a different timeline altogether. And then Godzilla against Mecha Godzilla and its direct sequel, Godzilla Tokyo SOS, is in the third timeline. The Millennium Era. Uh, the, yes, the, the Godzilla timeline is more convoluted than the Legend of Zelda timeline. And then there, well, there's Mecha Godzilla in Godzilla Kong, but that's the thing. Probably have seen that picture, but still, let me go check it out. Let's see what it is. Yeah, I've seen that picture before. Yeah, I've I've seen that before. The Grand Reality Unified Theory. But yeah, Mark, was was there any other part of that uh that that movie thing that like just stuck out to you? Also, if you guys haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't done so already. But we're probably gonna be wrapping up after this uh thing runs out. You yeah, know, again, like the Godzilla movies are grouped up in a very weird way, but it makes it makes sense. Laser eyes go neum. Laser eyes. Pew pew. Get lasered. There's a little Game Boy play through. Oh, interesting. Yeah, no, they, they're yeah, Firemar. There's no way that they're gonna bring that Godzilla movie out of thing. I wonder what people would think if I kept the whole original Godzilla script and pasted it into Discord. Got Shiny Ball them an accident because I want to shine in a bell. Nice! One of the well, the original Godzilla script is in Japanese. There, there's places online you can watch them. There's places online. There's places online. But yeah, Mudkip, I think probably the best spot to start for you would actually just be the first, uh, would be Godzilla, uh, not Godzilla, Kong Skull Island. Or just watch Godzilla Final Wars first. I haven't finished Hunter x Hunter, Mudkip. I'm not gonna start One Piece until I finish Hunter x Hunter. Which I'm going to go back to watching after this ends off. Which, because we're ending off right now, is going to be now. Oh yeah, so for those who don't know, Mudkip got me to watch One Piece. I'm not going to start Godzilla 2 without One Piece. Okay, that's going to be a while. So for those who don't know, Mudkip got me to finally watch One Piece. Because we made a deal during... Uh, the last Splatfest. If Team Keyboard won Splatfest, he would buy me side order for Splatoon. But, I would need to watch One Piece. That was the deal we made. Hello, Ghost Bunny. It's suffering to get Beldum because it only was Tackle and it slowly died. It's really hard to get. 
Yeah, that's why, uh, maybe in the modern game, it's easier to get a shiny Beldum, uh, cat to, ca to catch it because it doesn't actually KO itself anymore because it gets tackled and stuff now. Also, I want side order member only streams. Possibly. Possibly. Oh, that song pops up. That song makes me sad. Da Godzilla, Godzilla soundtrack. Yo, good song. Original Godzilla vs. Destroyer. Courage, OSB, Fukube. Such a good song. That song goes so hard. Yo! Brandon R24 is doing some Ultra Moon. He's doing some Poipo shiny hunting. Let's go raid him. We're going to project those basically get to a direct. Nice. North Lunch Room. I pretty much never watched the live action movies. Anybody gets the little movies? Um, yes, they're the Netflix movies. However, we do not speak of the Godzilla Netflix movies. I was about to ask, what's so bad about Zero Two from Kirby? Then I remembered, that's my music. Yes, we are going to do a raid. Say, we here do what we like to call a mechanized Maxis raid. We are all about the robots here. Uh, I mean, I've heard they're bad. Um, my friend did not stress the level of badness. All they told me is that they turned King Ghidorah into space ramen. Uh, Brandon R24. I was going through wormholes to see a shadow of Palkia, but it was shiny Palkia, and of course I catch it. Very nice. But yeah, we're raiding Brandon R24 with shiny Anton Poipol. Yep, just click the link and you go over to the stream. Oh, <laughs> you got us right at a bad time. Oh, no, Dad's home. We're actually just raiding right now. <laughs> this is our second stream of the day. Uh, first one was about three hours long. Oh, you kind of caught us at a bad time. Wait, the link isn't working? Um, Okay. Um, if the link isn't working, I'd recommend just going to Brandon R24's stream, just searching it up live shiny Poipo hunt. I know sometimes the links can be a bit weird. Uh, Poipo shiny is ultra moon only. But he's going to be there, but I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.